We've seen these posts all over where the caption says comment word and I'll send over the guide or the info or the link. That is a chat automation at work. And today I'm showing you how to set one up for yourself with the help of ManyChat. First, let's customize the guide that you'll be giving away. So today I've chosen to use the new buyer guide. I'll go through and customize this to my brand and make sure it's all up to date. And I'll go over and click download. For this one, I'm gonna do PDF standard and select all pages. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and click download. In this one, I'm gonna choose a PNG and I'm just gonna select page one. So I'll deselect all of those and select page one and I'll show you how we're gonna use this in just a second. So we'll click download. Next, we'll make a cover photo for the form where your guide will live. So we'll create a new design. This one is just a standard eight and a half by 11 size. And in elements, I'm gonna search the word iPad mockup and I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna use this one for this example and I'll click set image as background. Then I'll come over to uploads. I've already uploaded the buyer guide here, um, but you would simply click upload files and grab that PNG that you just downloaded. So we'll click on the image and we will adjust it so it's fitting snugly right into this design. This can take a few minutes um, just to get it perfectly set. All right, so that looks pretty good. Oop, we need to drag it out a tiny bit on the right side. Okay, so that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and click download. And this one, same thing, it will be a PNG. Next, I'm coming over to Flowdesk, and this is where I will make the landing page so that I can collect my leads information and send them that buyer guide. So we're gonna log in, and at the top, we'll select Forms and New Form. We're gonna come down to Full Page, and we'll choose this first design. Next, we will choose a segment. So we will call this one Buyer Guide. I've already created it in a test run. But basically, everybody who submits their info to this form will receive your buyer guide. So we can click Save. Now we will customize this landing page. On the left, we can upload that image that we just worked on. So that's here. And on the right side, we can just tweak this text to anything we like. Just keep it simple and say, grab your free home buying guide. And of course, customize this how you like. Next, we will click Next. And for these, I'm going to select No for a double opt-in, No not to notify me, and display a success message. Okay, so hold tight on this link. Um, we'll come back to this in a second. I'm going to come back to Flowdesk, and we are going to select Workflows. So right now we're creating the email that once the person submits their information to that form we just created, this email will be sent, which will contain the link to that freebie. So we're gonna click new workflow and we're gonna click lead magnet delivery and customize it. Okay, so at the top we have to add a trigger. So a subscriber is added to this segment and the segment is buyer guide. And then they receive this email. So we can go in here and click edit. For this one, I'm gonna do keep legacy formats and I'm gonna delete this uh, graphic just to keep it super simple. And then here, I'm gonna just add a button and this button will link to the guide. So we can pause right here and jump over to uh, Google Drive, which is a place I recommend that you house or you kind of keep your freebies. I'll come over to Google Drive. I've created a folder just called Buyer Guide. You could create a folder called Freebies or Free Lead Magnets, just so you know not to, you know, delete the delete the folder. And I'll right click and I will click File Upload. So I see my Buyer Guide is right here, and I will go ahead and click Upload. All right, so the buyer guide is successfully uploaded. We're gonna click these three dots and we'll click share. 
and then we will come down here. We'll change this access to anyone with the link is a viewer. Okay, and then we'll click copy the link and we'll head back to Flowdesk. So we'll come over to link and we will paste it here. And so then we can customize this tech text to say, grab the guide. Okay, and then as I said, customize this as you'd like just to basically let them know that the guide is here and they can grab it below. And we'll click finish. And then we can come over here and customize the subject line of this email. Uh, just rule of thumb would be to, you know, let them know that the guide is within. Um, and then preview text uh, is up to you. You can add text there or go ahead and leave it. And then we will click publish and publish now. Now that your workflow is published and your landing page is live, people will fill in their information and receive the email that contains your free guide. You can promote this landing page by sharing the link to it in your Instagram bio or by manually sending it to those interested. To do that, head over to the form section and hover over the page, the form that you'd like to share. Click on these three dots and select share page link. In this video, we're going to take it a step further and set up an Instagram comments automation. You can sign up at manychat.com and follow the prompts to get started. So then we'll head over to automations and new automation. I typically search Instagram up here in the search bar, but this is the template that I usually use and I'll click set up template. Um, actually, it doesn't look like it's letting me use the template because I'm on the free version, but that's no big deal. I will show you what I would do. So post or reel. So we're looking at triggers right now, specific Instagram events that start your automation. So when someone, a user comments on your post or reel, so we can, in the free version, you can, you would link a specific post or reel, but um, in the pro version, we can choose to do the next post or reel that you share. And the comments contain specific words. And in this case, we're gonna make our word around the buying guide. So we could write buy, or we could write buyer, or we could write guide. In this next section, we wanna enable public, let me move this. We wanna enable public auto responses in feed, which is basically you responding to their comments. So once they comment the word buyer, you're gonna say, you're gonna reply and it's gonna say, check your DMs. Or you could say, <clears throat> sending your way just sent it. So this gives you more of like an organic response. They will shuffle through these different replies to give you that more organic response to the people who comment on the post. Okay, so then we'll click save. Next, we're going to send a message. So your text, I think here, because we're sending them to a landing page and requesting <clears throat> their uh, email information, we're going to say, grab, oops, grab the guide can't type the guide. Wow. Below, just input your info and I'll email it over. And then we're going to click button and we're going to click open website. And the website URL we're going to is to your form. So again, we'll come back into this flow desk and we'll go to forms and we will click these three dots and share page link and we will copy that and then we'll come back to mini chat and paste so we will click done and then we want to rename this button we don't want it to say new button we want one we want to say grab the guide or something like that and then we'll click done so this i like to just walk through these triggers before i set them live so when a user comments on your post or reel then send them a message um, to grab the guide. And um, I should be more specific. When they comment on your poster reel with specific keywords, you'll respond to those comments. With, and one of these things, will, one of these responses will be shuffled. And then a message will be sent to their DM to grab the guide. So that's that. Oops. Uh, we can go ahead and set live. 
Next, I would head over to Coffee and Contracts and get a post ready to share on Instagram. In this example, I'm using February 15th, which actually already has that buyer guide included in the call to action slide. So as you know, we offer three different design styles. I'm just going to delete the ones that I'm not using. I'm clicking on this one and holding the shift button on my keyboard and deleting. And then I will choose which cover photo I wanna use, which I will go with this one. So I would just customize this obviously to my brand. And then on the last page, I would just make sure that whatever word I'm instructing the person to comment is in line with the words that I used in my many chat automation. And that's all. I would go ahead and download this and get sharing on Instagram and that chat automation will be ready to go. If you do end up using the free version of ManyChat, I wanna go back and show you what this can look like. So as you'll see, the ones that we selected were the pro version. If you do use the specific post or reel, you would click select publication after you made the post. It would pull up here and you could just quickly select that post. Um, so I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, uh, just let us know in the comments or um, email us at support at coffeecontracts.com.